as promised, the pros and cons of Pensacola, Florida is here. I hope you're all excited to hear about all the good and all the bad about Pensacola, so let's get into it. What's going on everyone? Garrett O'Leary here with the O'Leary Brothers team here at Lead Realty. Thank you for clicking on this video. I surely do appreciate it. Now, like I said last week, I've kind of neglected talking about Pensacola in detail for pretty much the life of this channel, but that all ends because I'm finally doing a classic pros and cons video of living in Pensacola, Florida. But before I get started, if you are a Pensacola resident, please drop in the comments some of the things that you love about living here and maybe some of the things that you don't so much love about living here. Again, this channel is all about telling everyone that watches these videos, you know, what are the good things, what are the bad things about living on the Emerald Coast and living in, I guess, technically in this video, Pensacola. So please drop those comments below. I love the discourse that we have. I love the discussions. And again, hearing from residents that live in those areas is always great because it adds that first person view of what it's actually like to live there. But without further ado, let's jump into some of the cons about living in Pensacola, Florida. Now, the first con that I'm going to talk about is a little bit of a gimmick, but if you're looking at it from the perspective of a new resident, and especially if they've come from other states, it's that the weather is kind of unpredictable. This kind of applies to the whole of Florida, so that's why I think it's kind of a gimmick. But again, Pensacola is no different. You're gonna have very much a bipolar feel to how the weather is on a daily basis. You could be up and at them in the morning and it'd be perfectly sunny, and then half an hour later it could be pouring down rain, and then again half an hour later it's 95 degrees, a billion degrees when you add in the humidity and it's just like what is going on what do i dress for how do i deal with this and that's kind of that unpredictability unpredictability that i'm talking about again for new residents especially if you're coming from places like california i mean basically anywhere that's not the south that kind of bothers you that kind of like you know like, what do i do do i bring an umbrella do i wear a raincoat do i wear shorts and a tank top because it's so hot how do i get rid of all the sweat I mean, <laughs> there's just so much unpredictability with it my recommendation you know bring an umbrella have a raincoat in your car, you know, have maybe a change of clothes if it does start pouring, if you're sweating too much. If you're in AC all day, you're gonna be fine, don't worry about it, but it is. You know, the con number one, and it's my biggest gripe when I first moved here, was kind of that unpredictability when it came to the weather. I was never sure if I was gonna be too hot or too cold or too sweaty or, you know, anything like that. So it was, I definitely understand where that first con and why that's here and why I wanted to include it is that for new residents, especially people that are maybe thinking of moving to Pensacola, you gotta get used to the weather. It's gonna be unpredictable, but with that being said, the 200 plus days of sunshine that Pensacola and the rest of the Emerald Coast get definitely makes up for the unpredictable weather. Now, con number two is actually the nightlife. Now, bear with me, because it's not that I'm saying that there's no nightlife in Pensacola. Actually, Pensacola has a good option, a good number of options when it comes to entertainment, restaurants, bars, things like that. What I'm more referring to is that a lot of things close kind of early in the evening. So if you are looking to maybe go out and get something to eat later off in the evening, 9, 10 p.m., you might be limited on your options. It's same thing if you're trying to look for like bars or clubs or things like that. There's just a few options or nothing that's like, you know, constantly packed full of people that it's a lot of fun. Your options are limited because even though it is like a city, you're not gonna have as much of a choice in terms of a very popular bars, restaurants, clubs that stay open into the early morning as you would if you're living in a larger city or a more popular or densely populated area. So yeah, the entertainment nightlife is, while it's there, it's almost less so in the evening if you understand what I'm saying. And again, for new residents that want to live in a city, um, you might be not used to something like that. And that tends to be a big con that I get from a lot of people that have lived there or the people that live there are maybe around my age, you know, early 20s, late 20s, early 30s, things like that, where it's just like, we go to a lot of the same places all the time because those are the only places that stay open later. And that tends to be the biggest gripe. And that is a con that I wanted to include because again, if you are a younger person or just someone that likes to be out and about into the evening, you're gonna be limited on your options. And con number three on this list is a classic. I can't make one of these videos without mentioning it, and that is traffic. Now, obviously, the Emerald Coast, Destin, Fort Walton Beach, I mean, obviously, you have to include Pensacola in that one, is that they are tourist areas. So with that being said, during the summer months, or just basically, again, any of those 200 plus days of sunshine, there's gonna be a healthy amount of tourism that are gonna be in the area, which means the roads are gonna be clogged up. 
So when it comes to those times, you better prepare, you better know what routes you're gonna take because odds are, if you're gonna go anywhere, you're gonna run into this traffic. There's really no way around it. Unfortunately, the, the back roads that a lot of people would take if they live in a more uh, densely populated or kind of a rural area are limited just because we're right up next to the coast. So you really only have a number of roads without going completely out of your way to get around it. Plus, if you mix some of the Florida drivers, if you heard the stereotypes, and if you mix, you know, again, vacation drivers, it can be a bit of a mess sometimes. I mean, even where I live in Destin, the traffic does, does get really bad because people do get into accidents on the roads that people have to take, especially the more popular and bigger roads. And that could just slow everything down. So you do have to prepare, whether it's timing wise or just accepting that you're probably gonna hit some traffic, especially during those warmer summer months. All right, now let's jump over to some of the pros of Pensacola, Florida. And the first pro that I wanna talk about is the downtown area. Now, again, if you've watched any of my videos, you know that I'm from California. I've spent most of my life or large portions of my life exploring some of the biggest cities, you know, Los Angeles, the Bay Area, and exploring their downtown areas. And by far, I'd say in my personal opinion, the downtown part of Pensacola is actually, I would say, one of my favorite places. I would say it beats out the likes of downtown Los Angeles by a mile. I mean, I absolutely love downtown Pensacola, and I think a lot of people love it too. Now, this is all just my opinion, but again, I think it's an absolutely incredible downtown. I absolutely love the historic look and feel of all the buildings. I love how concentrated all the bars and restaurants are in the downtown area. And it just makes it such an easy and awesome place to walk around in where you just feel like everything's within touching distance. You're never having to go too far to get to a cool bar, or a cool restaurant, or just a cool activity. Everything's right there. And for anybody that's been in downtown Pensacola, I feel like a lot of them can share that same sentimentality where it's, it's just an awesome place, very well designed, very well kept. It, it is a ton of fun, especially when they have different events going on, when there's holidays. It just makes it, I mean, chef's kiss. It, it's just that awesome. And I, I don't really know how to put it into words on how much I enjoy being in downtown Pensacola. I, I, that's why I think I regard it as one of the better downtown places I've ever been to, if not the best. Plus, being that Pensacola is literally right on the water, if you are in downtown, you can get to the coast just like that. It is that easy. It's literally maybe a couple blocks that you have to walk at most and you are right on the water, whether you're enjoying you know, just a, a bite to eat on the water right there at a restaurant or just wanna sit and relax and just hear the sounds of the water splash up against the shore. It is a wonderful time and I really don't know what else to say about it. Now, pro number two on this list are the local sports teams that call Pensacola home. Pensacola has two semi-professional teams that all play within a walking distance of downtown and the semi-professional hockey team in the Ice Flyers and the AA baseball team in the Blue Wahoos. Now, I've talked about these two teams several times on my channel, so you could probably go to almost any of my videos and I'll be talking about them. But going to their games is incredibly fun. They, the tickets themselves are incredibly affordable, which makes the games pretty much fill up. The stadiums are more or less always sold out, which really add to the atmosphere and make the games very much vibrant, uh, exciting, and you really just get to feel the energy of the whole crowd as you watch any of their games. Coupled that with the fact that the teams are actually talented and the staff really focus on providing a show. Um, so it really makes the, the energy in the stadium that much better. And especially since the tickets are really affordable, everybody's there because they want to be. It's not that you have fans that are like, oh, I have season tickets, so I have to be there. I spent thousands of dollars. Everything about going to these games is meant to be affordable. There's what meant to be entertaining, where you can spend time with friends and family and not break the bank, which is my biggest thing, you know, especially in today's world where you're trying to be entertained without spending thousands of dollars on something. These two teams and the Ice Flyers and the Blue Wahoos put out great value, great teams, great seats, great times. That's really what I associate with the Ice Flyers and the Blue Wahoos. And it, I can't recommend enough. If you are in Pensacola, even if you're just visiting, try to go to a game. They are a ton of fun. Pro number three on this list is arguably one of the coolest things I've ever talked about in any of my pros and cons videos. And that is Pensacola actually is home to the Blue Angels. That's right. The Blue Angels call the Naval Air Station Pensacola home and they fly and practice there all the time, more or less year round. So if you are a resident of Pensacola, you get to witness some of the Navy's best pilots flying and doing all the crazy stunts and what did you call it, acrobats? I don't even know what you'd call it. But regardless, some of the craziest things they do, they practice right in front of you. You get to see them 
pretty much throughout the year flying and doing these things and it makes it one of the coolest things I've ever talked about. Now, if you're visiting soon or maybe thinking about moving, the Blue Angels actually have their schedules on when they practice and when they do all their air shows here in Pensacola online. So you can find which days work out for you, but I highly recommend checking them out. If you've never heard of the Blue Angels or have heard of them but never seen them fly in person, it is one of the coolest experiences because you almost think like there's humans doing this thing and it makes it such an awesome experience. I used to grow up going to air shows, so seeing them fly in person and being able to see them fly fairly often is arguably one of the coolest things I've really got to experience in my life. And I absolutely was shocked to find out that the Blue Angels actually called Pensacola home after I moved here. I didn't know that. And it was really like exciting to me. I was like, no friggin' way. I was like, I get to watch them fly. That's so sick. And that truly is a huge pull for a lot of people. I mean, talk about quality entertainment. You get to see, again, some of the best pilots in our country doing some of the coolest things in the world right outside your doorstep. You walk outside, you could be watching the Blue Angels fly, which is a huge, huge quality and you know, quality of life type thing that I think is just an awesome feature of Pensacola. But that wraps up this week's quick video, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. I didn't want to make the video too long because I could be talking for hours about all the things about Pensacola, all the pros, all the cons, but I want to create some discourse in the comments, people bringing up the things they love, things they hate. So if you have anything, if you're a resident, used to live here, or have visited here several times, again, drop the things that you love or hate in the comments below, share them with everybody. Maybe we'll create some good discussion about what's going on. But again, if you are looking or thinking about moving to the Emerald Coast or into Pensacola in general, go ahead and reach out to us. I will leave our contact information right here for you. Give us a call, send us a text, or shoot us an email, and we'd be happy to help you in any way we can. As always, my name is Garrett with the O'Leary Brothers team, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.